I am joined by Leanne. Leanne is a real life vegan who has kindly agreed to be here to answer some questions that I asked you guys on social media to post to me. So, uh, are you ready for some questions? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so the first one. Why do you hate yourself? Um. Good morning. It is that time again. It's the time that everyone has been pestering me for, for weeks if not months now. It is time for the week on vegan. Now the rules are quite simple for this one. It's basically don't eat any animal products for the next seven days, or even products that sort of contain traces of animals. So no, no dairy obviously, no eggs, um, and even some like cereals contain sheep's wool, which is really gross if you think about it, even if you do eat meat. But thankfully I'm not going to be doing this week alone. I'm going to be joined by my beautiful wife, Grace. Me. Yeah. You. Um, how do you feel about not eating anything but plant-based things for an entire week? Uh, I'm a bit nervous about it, to be honest with you, um, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for... We've, we've planned the week, so hopefully it's not going to be crappy, boring food for the entire no. week. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also apprehensive. I think it'll be nice. I think we'll be surprised. I hope so. Yeah. So um, let's crack on with breakfast and, uh, and see how we can break ourselves in gently. Okay. So because being vegan obviously limits your choice, there's not much else I can have for breakfast other than the obvious, because this is going to be the theme of the week, isn't it? A nice sweet and crunchy side salad. Now doesn't that look appetising for breakfast? And I can already hear you typing your angry, angry comments, because you don't have to. Chill out. I've got uh, some vegan corn Cumberland sausage. So I'm going to try and start the week by tricking my body into thinking it's getting meat. So I'm going to have some sausage sandwiches for breakfast, or a sausage sandwich at the very least. So Cumberland sausage, deliciously versatile. Um, already they look a little bit questionable on the box. Also, note the salad, so maybe I wouldn't be so crazy if I would. So yes, going to whack these in the old oven and see how they look. Hmm. Pits do not have a skin on them, so I'm not quite the count as sausage. It's more cylindrical tubes of paste. But hopefully they'll look nicer once they've cooked. So we've got some rolls, which I'm assured are vegan friendly, which have been buttered, or shall that be vita lighted, by this dairy free spread. And then we have the sausages. How do you think they smell? They smell okay, actually. They do smell okay. Is this one split like a real sausage? Mm. So, um, yeah, I guess are we going to cut them in half and then we'll uh, we'll stick them in them baps? But they at least look like sausage sandwiches. Mm, they smell quite nice. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to do the honors with the ketchup, mm -hmm. which is vegan friendly, of course? I guess it goes without saying that everything this week will be vegan friendly. Excuse you. Mm -hmm. Okay, just got to do it precisely. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let battle commence. Okay. How is it? Tastes nothing like sausage. <laughs> is it nice? It's not unpleasant. What does it taste like if it doesn't taste like sausage? Maybe a bit like stuffing. Oh, or like sagey. I'm not sure. Dry. Yeah. <laughs> My turn now, I guess. Yeah, I'm undecided. Mm. I like that. Do you think it's meaty? It's kind of got a meaty texture, but it's not got a meaty flavour. It's definitely, um, I know what you say about the um, sort of stuffing-y kind of Mm. Taste. What about the, like, the dryness? It is quite dry, they're not juicy, as you would expect, because obviously that all comes from the meat, but they've got a nice texture, they have got meaty texture, um, and the flavour's really nice, it's kind of like sage and onion stuffing, like you say. Okay, well, I guess that's, what do you call that, a win for the Yeah, the I would say so, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So, um, well, we've got more if you're hungry. Yeah. So, Basil. What's your opinion of vegan sausage? He's unsure. Okay. He's, 
he's looking at it and he's uh, he he's he's rejected it he's not he can't even look at it anymore well after a fairly satisfying breakfast uh, we're off out now to do some shopping then we're going to the cinema to see solo so it's said to be a, a good morning I checked and the Odeon sweet popcorn is definitely vegan, so time to chow down. Well, we're out of the movie. What did you think? It was very good. It was very good. It was a lot of fun. But now we are off to get some lunch and uh, because we are scared of screwing up veganism, <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to buy lunch in a restaurant. Yeah. But um, what, are, are we going to have some options, some decent options? Well, that is the so. question. Yeah. So uh, off for a Mexican. Las Iguanas. I found some lovely day. Can't run through no, I'm not running through there. You go. No. You go. go on. <laughs> well, we're out. That was uh, that was an experience. Yeah. Wasn't it? So what happened? We didn't have a starter. No. Because there was no good options. No. And we. Uh, what did I have? I had uh, fajitas, mushroom fajitas. Mushroom fajitas. And I. Oh god, I can't pronounce what I had, but I had a, a basically a vegetable curry yeah. with um, palm hearts and uh, butternut squash and, and other veggies. Other veggies, yeah. yeah. It was okay. Mine was nice. It um, it was very very flavorful and had like a coconutty kind of sauce yeah. with it, which could have been a bit thicker, but um, it was very flavorful, which was nice. Yeah, mine mine was just basically fajitas minus the good bits. So, <laughs> so it didn't have any cheese or sour cream or meat. It was okay. Yeah, I would. <laughs> if I was vegan, I would be happy with. with yeah, what I it had. was okay. The the choice was all right. It was good that they had a dedicated vegan menu, or veggie and vegan menu. But uh, yeah, it was it was all right. Well, we didn't have a pudding, did we? But that that entire those two like meatless dishes, thirty four quid. Yeah, that's expensive. I think. So yeah, you'd have thought it'd be a little bit cheaper if there wasn't any like meat on there, but yeah, whatever. Right, well we are home now, mm -hmm. and we have a treat. Yay! Courtesy of the Nostalgia Nerd, who is a self-proclaimed massive vegan. Uh, so I don't know if that means he is really tall and a vegan, or if he just if, really passionate he about. Just takes veganism to the next level. Mm. So what's in the box? A sticker. Ooh. And a, this has been in the... He, he told me to put this in the fridge. Oh, so um, you've got a very cold <laughs> So I've got a very cold nostalgia t-shirt. Oh, God, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's quite a warm day. If I put that on, it will cool me down nicely. So thank you very much for that. I will wear that with pride. It's cool logo. Um, wow. Sure Loads of goodies stuff. in there. There is there. There some stuff yeah. in here. I guess maybe we should keep some of the stuff back because we haven't got very many vegan treats. No. Um, so if we keep some of it back, okay. I'll eat some of it now. So we have a... Oh, a wagon wheel. I guess it is. A, it's called a round, handcrafted, gluten-free wagon wheel cake mm. up. Ooh, ow, that's mm. my shoulder popping. <laughs> so yeah, um, pick whatever you want to try now. It's fine. Okay. A giant, I'd like to try that, a giant bar, mm. cherry, a delicious oat bar made with rolled oats and cherries. That sounds nice. Let's try this one then. This looks like a big, meaty... Well, it's not going to be meaty, is it? Stodgy. If I can open it. Wrong word. Oh, here we go. Can I try it first? Yeah. Does it smell like oats? Yes, and cherry, <laughs> unsurprisingly. <laughs> Not rock hard, is it? No, very cold. It's <laughs> mm. flapjack, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't taste um, like I wouldn't go that's crap or that's vegan or whatever. It tastes um like cherry brandy. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's quite nice. Yeah, I would eat that. Yeah, I would. Mm. It doesn't lack the like the butteriness. No, I expect. feel like it would fill you up for a long time as well. Yeah, I've just had a tiny mouthful and I'm, I'm already full. Although I'm still from, full from lunch, to be fair. <laughs> what else? Oh, we've got vegetarian marshmallows. Are they marshmallows or are they mlows or? 
It says vegetarian marshmallows. And have a look at the logo. Mallows or vanilla oh, flavour, whatever. Horrifying now. creature on the packet. Should we save those for later? Yeah. Oh, mini moose. Mini oh, is heard this those. chocolate? Is that is it chocolate orange? Oh yeah, that. Chocolate. Let's try that. Yes. I love chocolate orange. My favourite. Get it. You can have a smaller bit. Oh, got the the texture of chocolate. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, you would not think that was dairy. That's really uh, nice. Dairyless. <laughs> so, am I right in thinking that all dark chocolate? Is vegan. Is that right? I guess so. If it's not got any over a certain percentage, like, obviously. Yeah, dairy in it, I suppose. Because this looks like dark chocolate. It doesn't taste like it though. But it doesn't taste like dark chocolate. So what does it have in it if it's not got like milk? Because it's quite creamy. Yeah. Emulsifier, sunflower. Oh. Soya. Sunflower oil. I don't know. Oh. Sunflower, lech, lechitin, lechitin. Mm. Wow. Orange oil. Some, it oh, does have sunflower oil. oil over there. Yeah. Mm. That's really nice. Really orangey as well. Yeah, which that's is good. Lovely. No, I would eat that. Yeah. It's good. Like that. What's next? There's another chocolate bucket. Shall we save this one? Yeah, save that one. This one. Oh, this is a meaty one. It. It's a Vigo. Isn't he the villain in uh, Ghostbusters 2? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's scary. Um, we've got bacon by the look of it. Badass bacon. Badass bacon. Smoky, luscious vegetarian bacon slices from plants. What's that say? And a little moodly magic. We actually bought some what we thought was vegan bacon. Ooh. And it turned out just to be uh, vegetarian bacon. So um, I'm glad. Thank you very much for sending that because. Yeah. Now we have bacon. It looks nothing like bacon. It looks like uh, kebab meat. <laughs> it does look like kebab meat. Interesting. It's weird, doesn't it? Like a weird texture, maybe. Yes. Mm. This is uh, I've been. This has been staring at me. Baked beans in a rich tomato sauce with Lincolnshire-style sausages. Oh, nice. Meat-free. Amazing. I'm going to definitely include this in the week. So what's that like? Corn sausages? Do you think? Can't Where's we what have breakfast. we got? Um, yeah, I guess so. Cashew nut. Is this supposed to be cheese? Oh, oh! Show. Look how cheese is spelled. Che cheese. 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 It looks like it's made with cashew. Oh my god! Is this a real artisanal, cultured and aged Ooh. cashew nut product? It's very got a very intense smell. Cheesy. No. Weird. I don't know if you can see that. Is this... What is this? It smells <laughs> really spice, like, spicy. Not, like, hot spicy, though. Ethiopian, I say it on the Ethiopian spice. But, but what would you do with this? What would you eat it with? I don't know. The ingredients are cashew it. nuts, water, probiotics, the Ber Berber spice blend, Himalayan pink salt. Do you want to try it? No. <laughs> oh, Just take a big like, bite out of not it. Not a big bite. <laughs> it's I don't know how very... you do this. What's it taste like? I don't know. That is the most unique thing. It's not a... It's no. not a dinghy. <laughs> no, I need something else. That is weird. Is that supposed to be cheese? It's not... No. No. The no. The texture's fine. The texture's kind of like a soft cheese. Like crumbly cheese texture. But this um, is too like, spicy for me. There's too many is, spices going on. very, very bizarre. Too many flavours. That, that is confusing I'm sure me. we probably haven't eaten it in the right way. I, I, <laughs> no. I'm sure if you probably had it on a cracker or something. There, there, are no, there are no instructions. Shall we have a... 
a white almond candy bar. Okay. Vegan hero! Vegan Tastic. It literally says Fantastic. Fantastic foods. Would you like to do uh, do the honest? Oh, is it white chocolate? Yeah. What's in it? What's good? What's in it? Oh yeah, we need to know. Uh, is Nostalgia Nerd trying to poison Grace? Okay, so no walnuts. No walnuts. We're good. So do you wanna do you wanna do the uh these normal bites? Yeah, I'll go first. Oh god. That's hard. Mmm. Oh that's really nice. Very nutty. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. That's really nice, isn't it? The nuts um really complement the kind of white chocolate. They do, because white chocolate can be really sickly, mm. can't it? It's really nice. Mm. And they've obviously got whole nuts in there, so it's nice and crunchy. Vegan cream. Vegan spray Squirty cream. cream. Yes. Let's squirt some in your mouth. No. Yeah. You're going to do it? You no, I won't. I don't like cream. <laughs> What's it taste like? That's actually nice. No, it's okay. <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. Just taste like normal cream. <gasps> Basil. If you had to put up with our whining all day because we want meat. Yes. Well, um, I spoke to a real life vegan to try and get some insights on veganism. So let's cut to that. I am being joined by Leanne. Leanne is a real life vegan. They do exist. And you've not wasted away to nothing. So that's no, good. I'm still no. here. <laughs> still alive. Yes, I put out onto social media asking for questions from you guys. What would you ask a real life vegan? Uh, and I had some responses from social media. Um, some troll responses. Obviously. Most of them will not be included. I did put that little one at the start, as you may have noticed. But um, <laughs> I'll not ask you really why you hate yourself. You can keep the answer to that one to yourself. The first serious question, how long have you been a vegan? I've been vegan for just over a year. Fully vegan. So before that, I was vegetarian for about 15 years. Okay. Um, and I kind of dabbled in veganism before. Dabbled? Yeah. Okay. So it's like dabbling in a specific type of music. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then you decided you liked it. Or and drugs. Wanted more. Or, well, but, maybe. Yeah. That's a dark place. <laughs> um, why did you become a vegan? Well, basically it's just kind of learning more about what happens to... Okay, so initially I was a vegetarian because I didn't want to eat animals. And I didn't want to add to the cruelty of how I was treated. Mm -hmm. And when I learned more about the milk and dairy industry and the egg industry, that's basically when I stopped eating dairy and egg. Okay, so it's literally just because of animal cruelty, it's not because of a dietary thing? No, just animal cruelty. Okay. Fair so that includes what, not wearing anything animal-based or eating anything animal-based? Yes. Okay. So what is the most difficult part of the vegan lifestyle? Honestly, I think it's being questioned all the time. Okay. Like, whenever you say you're a vegan, everyone's like, oh my god, how are you vegan? Why are you vegan? Like, uh, you know, what about this? What about that? It's just boring. So essentially, what we're doing right now is Pretty the most much. difficult part. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's sucky. <laughs> What is your opinion of keeping carnivorous pets, like cats and dogs? So I don't have any personally, but I don't, I don't disagree with having cats and dogs. I think uh, as long as you kind of, they're a rescue dog or they're adopted, I don't really agree with like puppy mills or whatever the cat mm -hmm. equivalent is, okay. kitten mills. Um, but I don't think I would feed my pets meat if I did have them. So if you had a cat, you would it would eat all the carrots. Well, you get no, <laughs> you can get like vegan dog and cat. They make they vegan... make it, yeah. But cats obviously are naturally like they they will go out and they will hunt and they will kill. Mm -hmm. Whereas dogs don't do that. Dogs will eat anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean dogs will eat anything, but they, they won't puke. go and like bring in a bird like a like a cat would. Like they won't don't hunt in that way. No. But with cats, you have to be much more careful if you do supplement their diet with a vegan diet because they need taurine, which is like a um, omega three amino acid -y type thing. That's very scientific. But people do people do do it. People do raise their cats and dogs. And they live the same length. Yeah. 
There is, I can't remember say his surname, but there's a guy called Gary something, and uh, there's a speech on YouTube, which is the greatest speech ever made, and he talks a lot about how he fed his dog a vegan diet, and it lived a very long, happy life. Google it. I may Google it. <laughs> you don't have a dog, so it's I fine. No, but I, I imagine Basil would scratch my face off if I tried to give him um, sausage without sausage in it. <laughs> Try him on... Fake sausage? Fake. Fake uh, I, okay, I will try him with yeah, some of the fake that. meat that I w- I'm going to eat this week, and we will see if <laughs> I have eyes at the end of it. Um, so, do you feel the attitude of some vegans to meat eaters harms the image of veganism? I mean, yeah. Like, it's the same with any sort of political or like activism kind of group like there's always going to be like a few kind of bad or weird apples um like the whole uh, dairy ice cream thing on twitter the other week I don't know if you saw that. oh yeah there was a guy or a girl who who gave a child a an ice cream a dairy ice cream yes and everyone kicked off well one guy kicked off okay and a lot of people were like what are you doing kicking off about this so yes yeah i do but at the same time I do get how, like, regular vegans or, like, you know, less crazy vegans get annoyed at meat eaters too. Because you kind of get pushed and asked loads of questions and it can be kind of frustrating. So you end up being, like, on the defensive. Yeah, things. yeah, totally. And it can come across like you're just a bit crazy, maybe. Well, I guess that leads on to this one. Um, there is a stigma around veganism because of, I guess, those bad eggs or bad apples yeah, to keep apples. it vegan. Um, so have, have you ever pretended that you're not a vegan and you just put it down to, to food allergies or something like that? No, I've not, I'm not like, and like I said, I don't kind of shout about the fact that I'm vegan, but I am proud to be a vegan. Um, so I would never be like, oh yeah, I'm just intolerant or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I am a vegan. Okay. I'm going to go off piece now. Some questions. Mm, Okay. Um, what do you think as me having eaten meat for 30 odd years, how do you think I'm, or what do you think I'm going to struggle with the most? Uh, it's difficult, because I don't know what your diet's like normally. It's but meat. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> You'll struggle with meat that. Meat and cheese and eggs. But the key is, like, is that most vegans, well, all vegans, pretty much, know why they're doing it. They know why they're not eating meat and eggs. And that's why they do it. So do you think it's, do you think it's not possible for someone to, love animals and eat meat no i don't i don't think that i think that it's the knowledge of everything that goes on with like animal you know like raising them for for meat raising them for dairy like using their bodies to build make furniture out of like all that kind of stuff like when you actually see how those animals live it's horrendous and that is what it is. That is why I'm vegan, and that's why pretty much everyone I know that is a vegan is a vegan. But even like free range, like eggs and things like yeah, that. It's all kind of a myth, honestly. I think that pretty much does it. Unless you've got anything that you need to feel, you need to get out there. Go vegan. No. Okay, fair so. enough. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go and eat salad now. Have fun with that. I will. Thank you. So, Grace, what are we making for dinner? Here is our lovely ingredients and things going on. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. (laughs) We have mac. And this is going to be our cheese, apparently. Um, Yeast. Nutritional yeast, which... I don't like the sound of that. No. Cheese and yeast shouldn't go in the same sense. No, it does sound... Weird. The vegan food with a cheesy, nutty taste made from primary inactive yeast. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we also have this, um, which is ch- cheese as well. Mm. <laughs> um, like a soft cheese. Yes, and, and breadcrumbs and flour and vegan things. Uh, we're currently infusing onion, so- uh, onion in soya. Um, yeah. I did, we, we had a little sneaky taste, didn't we? Yeah, it doesn't taste of anything, It doesn't really. taste of anything, hence probably why you have to add <laughs> to it. It doesn't have the same texture either as well. It seems quite oily. And thick. Yeah, it's, 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 it's weird. But we're waiting for the water to boil so we can do the mac. Um, that's doing its infusy thing, so we will, we will come back when there is something interesting to see. 
which uh, I'm dubious that uh, will ever happen. So the onion is out of the soy milk, uh, the macaroni is off the heat, and uh, we are now making a roux. So uh, are you confident? No, I, I don't, I'm not very good at making roux, they're quite hard. Yeah. Like so they're lumpy and stuff. Well, fingers crossed. Uh, I believe in you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's your professional opinion? How's it going? <laughs> Panicking. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. Tap. Yep. Tap. Doesn't look too bad, does it? No, I, I think that it's resembles... It's a little bit lumpy, but it's not too bad. Sorry. This is our nutritional yeast, which... Um, Does it smell? I, I, do you want to sniff? No, I don't like that. It smells weird. It, I don't it know what it smells cheesy. like. Well, that's what like it's supposed cheese. to, <laughs> I suppose. But now we add this. Okay, how much? So, um, there you go. It's one and a half tablespoons. One and a half? Oh, it looks like fish food. It does look like fish food. So one, one and a half? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then we, I feel like that's not going to be enough. We also add a teaspoon. Can I mix it? Yes, okay, give it a mix. Oh no, it, does, it, it looks weird when you mix but it is in. Is it going to dissolve, do you know? Why are you asking me as if I'm <laughs> some sort of authority on... Have you not done your research? Well, there's only so much you can learn about thousands of... Thousands wow. and thousands of... I'm disappointed. Vegan things. It's kind of disappeared, isn't it? Well, that's because I've stirred it in. Look, it's still there. Well... Oh well, this doesn't look lumpy Is that, that's that's a mustard. <laughs> How much? A teaspoon. I'm gold, okay. It'll be spicy. Oh gosh. It's, it's spurting out. A whole you. teaspoon? Well, just do that. It's got to have flavour somehow. I know, but it's <laughs> going to be spicy. And also, 50 grams of creamy original flavour. <laughs> it mm. doesn't even, does it even use the word cheese on there anywhere? No. Ah, careful, it's dripping Oh, out. God, it's already open. Why Why did you do this? Because I wanted to smell it. Well, it was like cottage cheese, if anybody's had that. Oh, kind of does. <laughs> so we've just seasoned it. Now it's time to add the mac part to the, the mac and cheese. It's a lot of macaroni. There's, a, there's, a, there's apparently seed six. Seed six? Feed six. Oh, well, we're not going to go hungry then, are no, we? No, so hopefully we like it because we've got it for the rest of the week. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it looks like mac and cheese. It looks like mac and cheese. I, um, I think we should resist tasting it until it's completely finished. Yeah, I don't finished. want to taste it yet. Because it may spoil the surprise. <laughs> if that's a good surprise or a bad surprise, I don't know. Then we transfer it into an oven-proof dish. So much of it. it. There is a lot of, it's saucier than I kind of would mac expect. Mac and cheese is saucy though. But this is a super saucy. <laughs> then the final step is the uh, the breadcrumbs, olive oil, and garlic Which mixture. Which delicious because it's, it's, it's all garlic. It's very garlicky. Wow! As soon as you pour it on, it's like woomph garlic. You have to spread it out a bit. This, yeah, this looks good. Then into the oven. Make it nice and golden. Would have burned myself. Twenty to twenty-five minutes. But. Bombs hit the kitchen. Good grief. Look at this. There's so much stuff. Just for and mac and cheese. There's even well. other stuff in the dishwasher already. Yeah. So, just for mac and cheese. Yeah. So, that's while well, I sort of cooking, I guess we'll clean up. That's your job. No, no, no. All right. It's had its allotted 20, what was it? 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Ooh. I'd say that's done. Yeah. Okay. okay. Whack it out. Whack it out. It does look nice. <laughs> Let's not get excited just yet. Oh, I really hope they taste nice. Bubbling at the edges like really like hungry. cheese. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, it looks like mac and cheese. It looks like mac and cheese. It smells a bit like mac and cheese. It smells very garlicky. It smells very garlicky. But hopefully it tastes like mac and cheese. And hopefully it's satisfying. Why, why is your portion so much smaller than mine? Because <laughs> I'm more hesitant than you are. Okay. Mm. 
Tastes nutty. (laughs) 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 Alright. The texture's there. Yep. (laughs) And I'm not sure. There's not an awful lot of flavour. Not masses, is there? No. I mean... There's a cheese-esque-ness. I can't describe it, mm. but it doesn't taste like cheese. It is really, really bland. Mm. Um, and then you get the sudden hit from the garlic breadcrumbs, which are <laughs> delicious. Um, but, yeah, the texture is really nice, but you can t- kind of taste that it's got not the right milk in it, I think. Mm. It's. I'm really disappointed. Mm, I was. I had high hopes. I and mean, the I, effort that it took as well to make. Yeah. I mean, if you had to eat this, yeah, it's it's fine. fine. But there's no flavour to it apart no. from the garlic top. Which um, you would just put on a normal mac and cheese, I suppose, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh well, it's gonna have to do. Sorry, mate. Mm. What's that, Grace? Um, just toast. Why, why have you got toast, Grace? Because it's tasty <laughs> and the mac and cheese wasn't, so I didn't eat any. You didn't like it, did you? No. It, um, didn't have I've, any flavour. No, I finished it. It was it was mac and cheese in everything but... The cheese. The cheese. <laughs> it, was, bit. it was so odd. And I'm really annoyed because we put a lot of effort into it. And I love mac and cheese, and I really, really, really wanted to like it, but I just, yeah. I couldn't. So uh, I'm having vegan marmite on toast instead. Indeed. So, um, <laughs> I, it was fine. I, I, I didn't like it, but it was fine. So that was day one. All done. How'd you get on? <laughs> well, I, well, it went all right apart from dinner. I've really missed meat today. Have you genuinely? Yeah. No, oh, I haven't. Like... That sausage sandwich was amazing. It was okay. Lunch could have really done with some chicken or some beef or something. Mm, yeah. And yours yours was nice. It could have probably really had some nice fish in there or some chicken. Yeah. And dinner was cheeseless. Da wasn't fan. So it was just mac. Yeah. <laughs> but the my my um, toast, toast was, was really nice. And now yeah. you're now you're filling up on raspberries. Now I've got raspberries, yeah. Whereas I'm all right, I I I had quite a, a large portion of Mac, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna tap out and watch YouTube. So I guess um, wow, this we, we're we're so happy. Well, I don't think it's gone too bad, to be honest with you. Like I said, the sausages were really nice. I had a really nice lunch. I was just disappointed by dinner. Yeah. But we'll see. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is another day. So um, please like the video to make up for our suffering. Please subscribe. (laughs) And uh, we'll see you on day two. Bye.